Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to use price and time to grow your trading account. This is more of an advice. This is more of a tip. If you want to improve your trading, then all you need to do is to watch this video to the end and then think about it. If it makes sense, then it is for you to start to apply this thing that you're going to learn today. I'm sure we've all heard about price, of course, like price action and the rest. We've all heard about time, like the time frames that we use and so on. But if you think about it very well, this price is what we're trading. We're trading the value of an instrument. Simple. That's what price is. The value, the going rate of an instrument. That instrument could be currency pairs, it could be stocks, it could be commodities, cryptos, or whatever. So this price that we're talking about is simply the behavior, the action, which gives us the direction in which price wants to go. That's why you hear a lot of traders talking about price action. Now, mind you, price action should be the foundation of your trading. Meaning that if you're going to develop a strategy today, it must be based on the foundations of price action. No matter what you are using, everything is price at the end of the day. Because even the indicators that traders are using, the indicators will not work if price doesn't do anything. Right? And then this time, time, very key, very, very important. It has to do with particular period, right? When to trade. When to trade. This is what a lot of traders are missing out. I can tell you this for a fact. You watching this video, you are actually a very good trader. But most people don't understand that aspect of when to trade. You must understand when to trade. What you have in front of you is just a chart. Chart giving you the information on price, right? But, but you must know when to trade. Very key, very, very important. And that's why I always say study the time frames. As we have a lot of time frames here from the one minute all the way down to the one month. And as this is the uh, trading view, you will have time frames up to three months. You can combine time frames and so on. So time frames is very, very key, very, very important. And then when we even talk about this time, we need to understand the sessions that we're trading. We need to understand the Sydney, Tokyo, London, and New York. You need to understand them with respect to when they will be volatile, when they will be not so volatile. Everything still has to do with period, which is time. Don't forget, once again, we are focusing on price and time. And this video is for you to just think about it from a different perspective. Slow down your trading for a moment and think about this. The truth now is that even if you don't trade for a week or for a month and you study this particular aspect, this particular you know, topic that has to do with price and time, it will start to make sense to you. And then when you start to look at your charts, you start to look at them in a different manner. In this sessions that we just mentioned, Sydney, Tokyo, London, and New York, with respect to volatile, not so volatile period, is also for us to pay attention to the news period when we're going to have high impact news. But the high impact news is going to create that volatile you know, period in the market in a 24 hours you know, day. And then also, this would even help us to know the type of trader that we are. As an example, if you like to trade the market when it's a bit quiet, right, you know the type of trader that you are. And that's why I always tell traders, pay attention to news. You can check like the first factory as an example. It gives you the, the news for the day, the news for the week, and so on. It's a calendar for you to be in tune when something is going to happen in the market based on volatile periods. And then finally, I want to quickly talk about you know, when we talk about the time of the day, what happens during that 24 hours period, whether in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night, which has to do with the uh, session, Sydney, Tokyo, London, and New York session. I'll tell you this for a fact as well, and then you can study the charts based on the overlap. 
because something tends to happen during the overlap of these sessions. Something even tends to happen during the beginning of every session, whether it's the time of the day or whether it's the day of the week. Day of the week, Monday to Friday, I can tell you for a fact that most Mondays are usually quiet. Mondays is when the market is trying to pick its direction for that week. And then you could easily have some, some fake moves, some false breaks and so on on Mondays, right? So be careful with Mondays. So things happen on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and even Fridays. In a previous video that we did, we asked this key question. We asked that when is the best day or the best days of the week to trade? And we concluded that it was from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Don't forget, this has to do with time. And we're talking about price and time. Even what happens during the, you know, each week of the month, the month of May is ending. What happened? Go back and check for the four weeks that we've had. What happened in the first week, the second week, the third week, and the fourth week with respect to price? You start to understand the pattern, how price moves, how things, it's just like saying sessions or seasons. Let me use seasons where we have like summer period, winter period, something tends to happen. Will you ever see somebody during summer, you know, putting on the hoodie, putting on the winter, winter jacket, the boots, everything, and so on. No. So that means what? That means that during summer, something in particular is going to happen based on that session, that season. So once you understand what happens during this period, generally, you can easily flow with the market. I'm going to run up now. This video is just to give you a thought process. Right? We're not here to talk about the chart. We're not here to talk about oh, this is Euro USD. this is gold, this is happening to the DXY and so on. No, we'll do that in other videos to come. But this video is strictly for you to think about, to sit back and then think about what happens in the market with respect to price and time. And trust me, this is going to help you to improve and then you would easily grow your trading account based on the understanding of price and time. With that said, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in, for watching this video from the beginning to the end. I do hope that this video has been helpful. And if it has, do give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button now, turn on the notification bell. And if you have any question, feel free to pick my brain. Do what? Use the comment section below, ask a question, and I will get back to you in good time. Thank you guys. It has indeed been a good one. Make sure to trade safely and make sure not to rush into the market. Price and time. Price and time. Very, very key. Very, very important. Cheers.